For my Pyro Musical this year, I needed some fountains that were silent, meaning no crackle or whistle, and I needed the duration to be fairly short. I found this fountain, and after testing it as is, I found that the longest duration tube was right around 10 seconds, which fits the bill of what I'm looking for. So the next question was, could I disassemble it and then reassemble it into a single fanned fountain? This is basically building on the idea I presented in another video using the sliver of silver fountain from Brothers. After reviewing my previous video for tropical color and noting the timings of each tube, I took apart a fresh one and noted the firing order on the tubes themselves. I knew that I wanted the longest firing tubes in the middle because I didn't want the effect to end with a V pattern. So using the noted times for each tube, I put the longest duration in the middle and the shortest on the ends. Because there are only six tubes, that meant that I wasn't going to have one in the middle pointed straight up. And that's okay since the overall spray of the tubes will fill that in. Whenever I'm doing initial testing on an idea for a set piece, I'll use a thin piece of fiberboard rather than wood. It's lightweight, easy to work with, and more or less fire resistant. Setting the angles without a protractor is pretty easy because I know three things. I know where the center point is at the bottom. I know the ends will bisect the corners. And I know my two middle pieces will be slightly off vertical. Knowing these things means that it's just a matter of visualizing straight lines to the bottom center. The symmetry should happen automatically. If I'm a little bit off, it won't be noticeable to the crowd. There's another way to do the simple geometry by dividing the board into fifths. Maybe I'll add that method as a little bonus to the end of this video. But for now, close is certainly good enough, especially just for doing this proof of concept. Once I had my tube's position approximated, I ran a bead of hot glue down each tube. Hot glue dries really quick, so I find it great for quickly setting things. Then, as added protection to keep the tubes in place, you can see that I ran zip ties along the top and bottom of each. At this point, I had cut off all the remaining Visco fuse. For this proof of concept, I just left some Visco on the end so I didn't have to bother with everything required for e-firing. Again, this is just a test. Kicking things off with Visco is fine. With the tube securely in place, now it's time to run the fuse. Because I want all the tubes to fire nearly simultaneously, I use the fastest burning safety fuse, which is typically white. I will measure out each length of fuse by sticking one end into the tube, then running it over to the next tube and approximating the remaining depth. Once I have that, I make the cut. I'll repeat this for each tube. With my fuse cut for each hop, now I get to what is probably an optional step, but not shown in this video. I like to throw a little bit of 2FG black powder into the tube. In my head, I believe that helps to ensure nearly immediate ignition of the fountain composition. Because I'm planning to use this in my Pyro Musical, I like to keep my timings as tight as possible. In my head, if the BP helps with more immediate ignition, I do it. So the steps here are, pull out the little wad of tissue paper, pour in a pinch of black powder, insert the safety fuse between the tubes, and then smush the tissue wad back into the hole. Once that's all done, you should have something looking like this. And that's it. Now it's time to take it outside and mount it on my post and wait for nightfall. Now the time has come. Let's see what we get. Heck yeah, I'll call that a success. So, did you find this video helpful or interesting? Give it a thumbs up. Like what I'm doing for the Backyard Pyro community? Hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Want to talk shop or have some other ideas? Leave a comment. My channel isn't big enough yet to where I don't respond or at least acknowledge most comments on a video. And I'll usually reply within 18 hours.
Oh, okay, well. Okay. You're getting your mare badge taken away. <laughs> That's all there is to it. <laughs> all right, I'll make this quick. To easily set nearly perfect angles, in this case, we divide the width into five equal sections, making a mark at the top of each sectional divide. Then at the bottom, find your center point. Now, just draw a line from each top point to the center point at the bottom. Attach your tubes to those lines, and voila! Perfectly spaced tubes and perfectly symmetrical angles. Thanks for watching.